I'm Fernanda Vissani Pivato. I am Brazilian music therapist and psychopedagogue. I am currently in the first year of PhD at Jotvus Lohan University in Hungary, uh, the Doctor of School of Education. However, the work that I will present here at the pre-conference in the Special Music Education in Music Therapy is based on my final work of my degree in music therapy. This work was carried out in 2015 in a hemodialysis clinic in Brazil, where I did two years of internship. At this stage, I had weekly music therapy meetings with a group of patients with chronic kidney disease during the hemodialysis procedure, which I will explain next. Chronic kidney disease is characterized by a permanent and irreversible loss of renal functions. According to the Brazilian Society of Nephrology, at the later stage of the disease, the patient is submitted to hemodialysis treatment, which occurs three times a week for at least three to four hours per session. Faced to this situation, it's essential to consider not only the pathology, but also all the biological and psychosocial aspects that involve the health of the patient. In this context, music therapy can be an important ally in humanization of healthcare, can reduce stressful situations and contribute to a construction of motivational environment favorable to the health promotion for patients. It should be noticed that this study is an extension of a previous research. The aim was to verify the ability of music therapy to evoke the patient's memory. In this project, I could verify be besides evoking memories. Music therapy could offer emotional and psychological supports. After that first year, the nursing team and psychologists realized that there was a change in a clinic complication during hemodialysis sessions. That means that some headaches and other pain have decreased on the day that they had music therapy. In the next year, I developed the second project and the new project entitled Canta Canta Minha Gente, that means Sing Sing My People. In this project, I investigate the psychophysiological changes caused by the practice of music therapy in a group of chronic kidney disease patients in hemodialysis. From a methodological point of view, this research is an exploratory and descriptive mixed cows study on a group of 14 patients for one of the clinics of Pro Renal Brazil group. The music therapy interventions were held once a week from April to October 2015 for nine months in a total of 27 sessions. The data collection instrument includes participants' observations, spontaneous patients' report, individual clinic recorders, closed ending questionnaires with multiple choice answers regarding to feelings, emotions, and perception of time during, during hemodialysis procedure. This questionnaire was prepared with the psychology service since this sector knew the most frequent patients' complaints. Mainly, I used the music therapy techniques described by Bruccia 2000, the recreation and improvisation. To better understand the quantified data, I create this table. To collect this information, I use patient clinic records to measure the manifestations of complications during hemodialysis sessions. As I mentioned, the patient in hemodialysis needs this treatment three times a week. The data from the first day on Mondays were not considered since there is a predisposition for complications on that day. I use and collect the weekly information from the second sections on Wednesday 
and which were there's no music therapy interventions and from the third sessions on Fridays in which there were music therapy informations in order to compare them. Hymondialysis treatment is responsible for a monotonous routine and the activity of these patients are limited after the beginning of the procedure. This idle time during hymodialysis process makes patients feel unproductive and this can interfere in their well-being. When asked about what they usually do during hymodialysis sessions, the most entertainment use for them is the TV because it always turns on and these aspects makes the sessions even more routine and passive for the patients. In this chart, it's possible to observe that the manifestations of complications prevail in the sessions in which there were no music therapy intervention. In general, there was a decrease of 75% and complications in the sessions in which music therapy took place. A possible explanation for the decrease can be found in the playful nature of music and in the group of interactions that occurring in the music therapy sessions. Now I will show you a video that summarizes very well all the work done during the internship how the emotional room was, the moments of joy and singing together with patients and also with other professionals. Meu grande amor Ai, 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 ai Vai chegando na hora O dia já vem Raiando meu bem Eu tenho que ir the video is a very popular samba from Brazilian singer and composer Martinho da Vila, called Canta, canta, minha gente, deixa tristeza pra lá. That means, sing, sing, my people, leave the sadness behind. This song talks about enjoying life, about singing to scare away sadness and live in the present moment. These are simple words of the song, but when we consider it, the environment in which is sung receive a new meaning. Verses that are sung by patients who undergo hemodialysis three times a week and spend three or four hours attached to the machines to continue living. This pathology compromises more than vital functions and impose physical and psychological restrictions. So, in this research, it can be verified that for the patients who took part in the research, the music brought significant results 
for both physiological and psychological aspects. The music therapy enable moments of pleasure, relaxation and communication to patients, nurses and other professionals who were in the room. To conclude, in essence, this research reinforced that it's possible to humanize clinics and hospitals' environment, giving patients a proactive perspective in which they can feel proactive despite of their clinical limitation, and also they could resignify their moments of life through music expression. And for this, is important of presence of a music therapist. Thank you very much for your attention and also thank you very much for all the support that the pre-conference commission gave me. So if you have any other question, please follow my email to contact me.